Welcome back to a new video. In this video, we are going to create and solve Panda's interview questions. Our dataset is going to be about motorbikes, and I will give the dataset creation code in the video. Let's start coding. Let's start by creating a Panda's data frame for motorbike data. We will include columns for model, price, and horsepower. I'm just going to make a copy paste on this part because I don't want this to take too much time from the video, and I'm just going to call the motorbike data frame that head actually there's five entries no need to say head let's see it's bike one bike two bike three bike four and bike five with the prices and horsepowers great so this is going to be our data frame for this video think it like a small part of a big database because when you are going to work as a data scientist or data analyst you are going to observe that you will have a lot of rows in your data frames and this is just going to be a just like a sample one for testing your skills also in most of the interviews they will provide you a mock data like this like a small data okay question one write a pandas code to display the average price of the motorbikes in the data set so for that we are going to say average price and it's going to be motorbike data frame price and we will use that mean aggregation function after that and i'm going to call the average price this code calculates the mean price of the motorbikes using the price column in the data frame okay question two now create a new column price category in the data frame categorizing the motorbikes into high medium and low based on their prices you can randomly select the values like let's say 0 8000 and 10000 for low, medium and high. So for that I'm going to say price bins and it's going to be like I said I think 0, 8000 and 10,000 and I will say float and it's going to be infinite like this and after that I'm going to say price labels are going to be low, medium and high. After that, I'm going to create a new column on motorbike data frame like this. I will say price category and I'm going to say pd.cut motorbike data frame price. And then I'm going to say bins is going to be equal to the price bins and labels are going to be price labels. And after that, what I'm going to say is I will say write equals to false. So after that, I'm just going to make this run and show you the code again. PD cut motorbike data frame price, bins, labels, and write. So I'm just going to call the motorbike data frame again, and you will see that we will have price category in here. This code creates a new column price category by binning the price column into three categories, low, medium, and high. Question three, find the motorbike model with the highest horsepower in the data set. So for that, I'm going to say max horsepower model, and it's going to be equal to the motorbike data frame that location motorbike data frame horsepower, and we will use index maximum after that, and we will say model because we are asking for the model in the question. So I'm just going to call the max horsepower model, and we will see that it's bike five, as we can see. Great. This code locates the row with the highest horsepower using the index maximum function and retrieves the corresponding model. Question number four. Calculate and display the total price for all motorbikes in the high price category. So I'm going to create something like total high price. And then I'm going to say motorbike data frame dot location motorbike data frame price category and as you can expect we are going to say accused the high and after that what we are going to do is we will say price and we will use that sum aggregation function after that and then i'm just going to call this like total high price and we are going to see that it's 23,000. also we can observe it from here great this code filters the data frame for motorbikes in the high price category and calculates the total price Let's also display our results with text in print statements so it can be clear. After now, I'm just going to 
display this stuff with print statements. Question 5. Sort the data frame in descending order based on horsepower and display the top 3 models. So for that I'm going to create something like top horsepower models and it's going to be model bike data frame dot sort values and we will say by horsepower like this and then I'm going to set the ascending as false then I will say that had three and I will take the model from here great after that I'm just going to write a print statement as I just said I'm going to use an f string like the top three motorbike models with the highest horsepower are and then I will say top horsepower models to string and I'm going to say index equals to false. So here is our results. Great. Bike 5, bike 2 and bike 3. This code sorts the data frame by horsepower in descending order and selects the top 3 models. The result is then displayed without an index. Great. Question 6. Create a new column, discounted price, in the data frame which represents the price after applying a 10% discount to all motorbikes. So we are going to create something as motorbike data frame discounted price and it's going to be like motorbike data frame price price like this multiplied by 0 0.9 and we can just call our data frame in here great this code calculates the discounted price by multiplying the original price by 0 0.9 and creates a new column discounted price in the data frame question number seven determine the average horsepower of motorbikes in the low and medium price categories separately. So I'm going to create something like average low horsepower and then I'm going to say motorbike data frame dot location and then I will say motorbike data frame price category and then I'm just going to use is in then I will say low and I'm going to say medium like this. And after that, I'm going to take the horsepower from here, like this. And I will use dot mean after that. Great. There is a problem. Let me quickly check. Actually, we need to give this two in a list format. That's the error source, I guess. And now it's going to work smoothly, I think. Let me quickly check. Motorbike location. Great, so I'm just going to use a print statement again. I will say print, I will use an F string. I will say the average horsepower of motorbikes in low and medium categories is, and then I'm going to say average low horsepower. Also, I'm going to say two floating, and this is our result. Great. Our code filters the data frame for motorbikes in low and medium price categories and calculates their average horsepower. Question number 8. Find and display the model of the motorbike with the closest horsepower to the overall average horsepower. So I will say average horsepower and I'm going to set motorbike data frame horsepower and then I'm going to say that mean. And after that, I'm going to say closest model, and it's going to be model bike data frame dot location. And I'm going to say something like model bike data frame horsepower like this. And then I'm going to say minus average horsepower. And after that, I'm going to take the absolute value of this like this. And then I will say index minimum and I will take the model from here. So this is our result, motorbike data frame, location, motorbike data frame, horsepower minus average horsepower, absolute value, index minimum, and we get the model. So let's just display it in a print, like the model with the closest horsepower to the average is, and then we will say closest model, like this. 
This code calculates the overall average horsepower and identifies the model with the closest horsepower to the average in the data frame. Great! Now it's time for question number 9. For each motorbike, calculate the ratio of horsepower to price and add a new column like horsepower price ratio to the data frame. So for that you need to do motorbike data frame and you will just create something like horsepower price ratio and then you will say motorbike data frame horsepower divided by motorbike data frame price like this so I will just call the motorbike data frame again and you can see it in here great our code computes the ratio of horsepower to price for each motorbike and adds a new column horsepower price ratio to the data frame great question 10 identify and display the motorbike model with the highest horsepower to price ratio so I will say maximum ratio model and I'm going to say motorbike data frame at location motorbike data frame horsepower price ratio dot index maximum and I will take the model from that like this and I'm going to print it like the motorbike model with the highest horsepower to price ratio is max ratio model great our code finds the motorbike with the highest horsepower to price ratio and displays its model question 11 calculate and display the total price for motorbikes produced by bike 2 and bike 4 combined so for that we are going to say total price bike 2 and bike 4 and it's going to be motorbike data frame dot location data frame model and we will use actually it's capital letter M is in then we are going to give the list like bike 2 and bike 4 then we will take the price from here and we will use that sum after that also I need to use this in here with isn't function and this needs to be dot and I need parentheses in here great this is our answer so I will say print f string the total price for motorbikes produced by bike 2 and bike 4 combined is and I will say total price bike 2 bike 4 like this great our code filters the data frame for motorbikes produced by bike 2 and bike 4 and calculates their combined total price great question 12 create a new column price per horsepower in the data frame representing the cost per horsepower for each motorbike so I'm just going to call the data frame quickly and then I'm going to say something like motorbike data frame price per horsepower and I'm going to say motorbike data frame price and it's going to be divided by motorbike data frame horsepower like this and I'm just going to recall that and we can see our new column in here so our code calculates the price per horsepower for each motorbike and adds a new column price per horsepower to a data frame great question 13 find and display the motorbike model with the lowest price per horsepower so I will say minimum price per horsepower model and it's going to be data frame dot location data frame price per horsepower and then I will say index minimum and I'm just going to take the price from here actually it's model I will take the model from here and then I'm going to say something like print f the motorbike model with the lowest price per horsepower is and I will say minimum price per horsepower model bike 2 great 
R code identifies the motorbike with the lowest price per horsepower and display its model. Great. Question 14. Calculate and display the average price per horsepower for motorbikes with more than 130 horsepower. So we will say something like average price per horsepower at 130 and it's going to be data frame location motorbike data frame horsepower and we will say horsepower after that greater than 130 and we'll say price per horsepower and then we'll use dot mean after that so it's going to be our answer print and we can say the average price per horsepower for motorbikes with more than 130 horsepower is and we can just give average ho price per horsepower in here actually average this great so here is our result our code filters the data frame for motorbikes with more than 130 horsepower and calculates the average price per horsepower for this subset question 15 determine and display the motorbike model with the highest percentage increase in price compared to the average price in the data frame so let's call it i will say average price firstly like this we already said something like this but i will recreate it for the answer price and we will use that mean after that in the end i'm going to say data frame price increase percentage and it's going to be like motorbike data frame price and we will say average price and it's going to be like in parentheses then we are going to divide this by average price but there's something wrong this i need to change the scalar braces with normal parentheses and i'm going to do multiply this with 100 so after that i'm just going to show you something that i will say motorbike data frame and here is price increase percentage in here so now what we are going to do is i'm going to say maximum increase model and it's going to be motorbike data frame dot location motorbike data frame price increase percentage dot index maximum and we'll take the model of this like this and after that what we can do is we can say print f the motorbike model with the highest percentage increase in price is and we just give the maximum increase model great our code calculates the percentage increase in price for each motorbike compared to the average price and identifies the model with the highest increase great thanks for watching the video I'm sharing two or three new videos every week about data science and Python programming. You can subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. I have a playlist named interview exercises where I have more than 10 interview exercises with their solutions on that playlist. You can just reach to that playlist from the cards or the description of this video. See you in the next video. Have a great day.